Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to show that why the factor of safety of the concrete is greater than that of the steel bar. So if we look to the Euro code for example, in case of the Euro code, the factor of safety of the concrete material is taken as 1.5, where in case of the steel bar, the factor of safety is taken as 1.15. So here the factor of safety for the concrete material is quite greater than that of the steel, the steel bar. So what is the reason behind this that we always take higher factor of safety for the concrete material as compared to the steel bar. So here I will try to explain this fact. So the steel bars are manufactured in highly controlled environment. This is very important here to note that the steel bars are produced and manufactured in a highly controlled environment with a strict standard of quality control. So this helps us to take the less value of the factor of safety for the steel bar because they are produced in a highly controlled environment. While if we look to the concrete, concrete is prepared in environment such as the ready mix concrete plant are on the site where a great degree of variability can be expected. So due to the high variability of the concrete strength because of the production in the site or in the ready mix plant concrete, this shows us to take the high value factor of safety for the concrete because it is prepared in the site or in the ready mix concrete plant where there is more chances to show the higher variation in the strength of the concrete. And what are these factors affecting the strength of the concrete that we assume to take the higher value of the factor of safety for the concrete? So some of these factors I mentioned here is the temperature of the concrete, the difference in the temperature of the concrete in the uh, outside environment, it makes uh, the strength concrete to be changed. The second one is the condition of the cement used. If this cement condition change is it is produced in the factory and when it is mixed with the concrete so it can affect the strength of the concrete and for this we have to take the higher factor of safety for the concrete material because the condition of cement can be changed during the process. The next one is the special requirement of structure elements. If you have some special uh, requirements for the structure elements then it can also lead to the reduction of the strength of the concrete. For this purpose we try to take the higher value of the factor of safety for the concrete. The next factor is the method of curing and duration. It can also strongly affect the concrete properties and thus we assume that concrete strength can be decreased by a higher amount is supposed to be that's why we take the higher value of factor of safety for the concrete. The other factor is the humidity of the environment. If your higher humidity is the supposed to be in our design, then it can affect the concrete strength. And the last one is the degree of quality control that how much or what is the degree of our quality control during the production of the concrete and it can also strongly affect the concrete properties and thus affecting the concrete strength and we assume for this reason to take the higher factor of safety for the concrete as compared to the steel bar. So this was the main reason that due to the variation of the concrete ingredients are due to the preparation of the concrete in environments such as the on site or in the ready mix concrete plant where there is a more variation where there is a more chances of variation of the uh, ingredients here, here we assume to take the higher value of the factor of safety for the concrete material. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.